Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be doing a What's on My iPhone 6, the jailbreak version. So let's get started. This is the Pangu 8 jailbreak. The first one is called Spring Device 3. You can get this for $2.99 in the Big Boss repo. This is a very popular tweak. And all you have to do to get this is go into your settings here. And let me show you around a little bit first. But... As you can see, you got all these different animation speeds you can change. And I have that as fast as it will go. So that's why you see the increased animation speed. As well as the lock animation is set to old TV. So let me lock the device. I get a lot of comments wanting to know where's it, how do I get that to do that. And I get it from Spring Demise 3. But as you can see, guys, the list is very, very, very long here. And it would take forever to go through this. However, I do have a uh, complete tutorial on this. If you want to check it out, I'll try to remember to annotate the video and link it up in the description. The next one is called Status HUD 2. This is free in Big Boss, and this is just a different way to enable and disable your volume. It's the interface for your volume in the status bar, as you see up there. And they offer two separate versions. You can have circles or squares. And I have the circle version in installed, so check it out. It's free. Next one is one I use daily called Speak Notifications, and it's $1.49 in Big Boss. And what this does is every single new notification that you get, it will actually speak it and read the notification out loud. And I'm going to attempt... To, to get this to work for us right here in real time right in right while we're on the uh, device right now so let's see if we can get this to do it for us and I have seen it through and sometimes it's a little slower on my iPhone 6 for some reason the uh, Wi-Fi here but where we're running the airplay and stuff slows it down so I'm going to continue on and you'll probably hear that speak sometime in the next few seconds or so but the next one is called Roomy and this is a notification tweak and what it does is if you pull your notifications down it actually adds a bigger space between your notifications um, as you can see this the area between each slot there is larger which it's sort of difficult to show from from there but um i've got i've got intelliscreen x installed so it's making it difficult for me to drop the notification center down just it but it what it does it makes your notification center slots larger and makes your notifications easier to read Next one is called Quick Music 2. You can get this for $1.99 in Big Boss. And what this does, it's a music tweak. And it's probably one of my fi top five favorite tweaks. And it's just got some really cool animation. Whenever you want to open your music app, all you do is just pull it down. And you can hit play, forward, rewind. If you swipe to the right, you can actually swipe through all of your songs. And you can change the song just by tapping on it like so. And I'll turn that back off. And then you can just pull it back down and it will go right back in its place. Very awesome tweak. That developer has knocked it out of the park with that one. The next one is called Pull to Respring. And as you know, as you all well know, as jailbreakers, we tend to need to uh, respring sometimes. And that's not such a simple task anymore. But... Now, under the settings menu, if you pull that down and release, it will actually respring the device right there. It's, it's very simple, and it ver works very well. And this is free in the Big Boss repo, believe it or not. You can get that one for free. The next one is called Lock Glyph. This is another free tweak in the Big Boss repo, and this is on the lock screen. And I didn't mean to sign in right there, but we can go back out, lock it back up. And as you can see on the screen, you got the little fingerprint down at the bottom. That's coming from Lock Glyph. And you get a little animation whenever you unlock 
some it's hard to see i've got it turned on the the animations turned up so fast but you actually get the apple pay animation when your screen unlocks by enabling this tweak called lock glyph the next one that you see on the screen right now is called eternum this is 2.99 in big boss repo this is the new apple watch user interface on the iphone 6 and all of these icons are usable you can open them just by tapping them you can drag and drop them you can hold down on them and put them in wiggle mode and instead of wiggling these they spin in circles and if i were going to drag uh one of them let's say this little needle here let's drag it up here to the top and drop it in it works the same way hit your home button one time they stop spinning and then you can go back into an indefinite spin here. It goes all the way to the end. I shouldn't say indefinite, all the way to the end, top and bottom. You can scroll in every direction and it works off in an activator. I have it on triple press and you see you can enable, disable by just hitting the home button three times real fast. That's called Eternum. It's $2.99. The next one is IntelliScreen X for iOS 8. Guys, if you if you bought this for iOS 7, then this is a free upgrade. If you've never purchased IntelliScreen X, then it's $9.99 in the Big Boss repo. But as you can see here, it is a wealth of information. All of your Facebook, Twitter, your, to, your notifications for today, Every notification you get comes through you, the uh, Spring to Mice 3 right there. Plus, they've also added a slider. So all the applications that we've opened today, we can swipe down on the left side of the status bar and get a slider and open anything. It just sort of slides open. And then when you push the home button, it'll sort of slide back closed. And it works for any of the applications that you want to open. I have an in-depth tutorial on that as well. I'll, I'll, I'll put that in the description. Next one is one of my favorites called Handy Key. This is a keyboard tweak. And what this one does, guys, is it lets you type with one thumb by shifting your keyboard to the left or to the right and you can shift it right or left by swiping over it if i pull to the right if i swipe from the right and swipe from the left it will actually allow me to maneuver my keyboard around okay as you can see i have it on left but you can, if, if you want to put it on right, all you have to do is come in here now and when we open up the keyboard, it'll be favored for the right hand user. And that's all configurable from in here. And it says you can add some tools in here. I've got the, dis, the uh, activator setting to swipe to change the layout disabled is why it's not working. But one of my favorite things about this is, is it allows you to add some copy and paste things like so and if you got some really big items like I tend to use a lot you can undo and it just makes it really easy to use and you can cut anything you drag over it select it like that and hit cut and it removes it it's just a very cool tweak and apparently it's going to require a respring to be able to swipe left or right over the keyboard to get that function to work again what i've done now is i've enabled a activator gesture here I'm shaking the device and you see the keyboards in the center I wanted to show you this but if I shake the device now you see that it uh, switches the keyboard to the right if I shake it again it takes it back to the center and you can set that to work for right left 
in the middle however you want it to set up using activator very awesome tweak the next one is called date and status bar it's free however you will have to add a repo with this i'll have that repo in the description date and status bar up there beside the time i tend to use that on a daily basis several times a day to see what the date is it's just very convenient for some reason my eye tends to go to that status bar much easier than looking at the icon i don't really know why but it does and another awesome tweak from that same repo is called better five icon dock and that's how i have five icons in my dock as well as better five icon home screen this allowed me to add five uh, columns of icons on my home screen as well. This way you get more apps on one page. All three of those are on the same repo and I'll have that repo in the description. The next one is called ConvoPix. This is free as well. ConvoPix is an iPhone 6 Plus feature and what it does is it goes into your, your uh, messages app and you see here I have the picture of myself there my little uh, character all those little round circles down through there if I had contact pictures for each of my contacts their picture would be in that and it would be from combo pics and last but not least is one I use a lot called activator that's an old one but it is one that I use a lot and one that you'll have to have to get several of these tweaks to work and guys, that's how I work my iPhone 6 on a daily basis. Hope these tweaks help. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Did I leave one out that you disagree that I should have had in here? Don't forget, as always, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps show that we uh, you appreciate our work. If you're not a subscriber, hit that big subscribe button before you leave and keep coming back.